This is exactly what you wanted, isn't it, Wendy? Don't follow me. Yeah. Yes. I told you this is how it would be. You didn't believe me, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I said I would just walk them out. And Brian said, how are you going to walk them out? Go still do what you want. My goat's <laughs> too. Because we don't have a more convenient hay storage area, our trailer will be the hay storage for the time being. It was imperative that we move the goats just as quickly as we could in order to avoid bad weather in Nebraska and Wyoming. And that worked out perfectly. Of course, that meant we didn't have a lot of extra time on the front end to do some cleanup work around here. And uh, there's a few panels up on the roof that we need to replace too. So we've got a little bit of work to do here. All of this old rotting wood is full of rusty nails. So we're going to have to just take care of this so it's not a hazard. I do like this structure here as a potential play structure for our goats in the future. But, you know, all that wood, it really isn't uh, worth anything. We're just going to have to get rid of it. It's pretty safe to let the girls out here without safe goat fencing. They stick together, they don't go too far, and they really like hanging around Windy. Do you like seeing your goats out here in all this pasture? You like taking your goats for a walk? Yeah. Well, they like following you. Even Ginger, and she was the most shy and reluctant to leave the safety of her little pin in there. In the go. Eating some grass, that's good. Burrs on you now. Yeah. You walk down by the pond. These are snacks for later. <laughs> you think they will eat those things? I don't. Either that or I'll pull them off. Yeah. Bon Bon's got them all over because she's a giant fluff bug. What sort of things have the goats been eating? Leaves and this thicker grass. Clear out under shrubs and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't think we have quite enough to make a dent on our property here, though. There's a lot of property to work with and not a lot of goats to go around it, so. First time I've heard you say not a lot of goats. <laughs> not a lot of goats? <laughs> There's Time. <laughs> well, hopefully we've got some goats that are pregnant, and uh, we are thinking about getting new goats. Eventually sheep. Ha <laughs> ha
It may not be exactly fair, but our bucks just don't get to come out like the does do. They're just not as well behaved. If we let them out, they'd probably just want to hang out with the girls rather than politely following us around the pasture. They do still get treats though. Here go these. <laughs> this is exactly what you want, isn't it, Whitney? Don't follow me. Yeah. Yes. I told you this is how it would be. You can do the least that you did today. I said I would just wash them out. And Brian said, how are you going to wash them out? Well, you don't do what you want. And I said, oh, <laughs> Stop and say, wait a minute, where's our people? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
This was a good day's worth of work. We've got about five bales of hay in there. That's just what was left over from Oregon City, what we brought over with us and didn't happen to feed to the goats on the way. Plenty of room for more, but we'll use that up first. Here's all that material. a lot of work just picking it out pulling it apart trying to pull out as many nails as we could here's a reminder of what it looked like before we did that cleanup work looks a little more bare out here now I'm sure once we have enclosures around this stuff and let the goats out to eat a lot of this stuff in the middle it'll look even more bare but it'll be good for the goats. How do you like Missouri so far, Indigo? We've got feeders for the boys and the girls set up. They're pretty much good to go. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.